Okay, I had to turn the fan on, but I have another quick message for you all. And I know that this is gonna hit home for a lot of you. I know that this is something that a lot of you have been praying about. Um, when God shows you something and he says it's for you, like he sends a prophet into your life, he sends someone into your life to prophesy to you. They don't have to necessarily be a prophet. They could just operate strongly in the prophetic gifting. Um, but God can send a prophet into your life to say, hey, this is for you. This is your word. This is what the Lord is showing me for you. God can reveal something to you just within your spirit. And you just know that God said this thing is for you, whatever it may be. It could be a new home. It could be a new relationship, right? It could be um, like something relating to your health. It could be whatever it is. You know, it could even be something very small and minute. But if God says it's for you, it's for you. You can take it to the bank. You don't have to, and this is the thing, the enemy wants you to be very anxious about it. The enemy wants you to be checking up on God, like, hey God, when is the blessing gonna come? Hey God, when are you gonna give me this thing? Hey God, when is this going to happen? The enemy wants you to begin to continue checking up on God because when you're doing that, you're taken out of a place of faith. When you're taken out of a place of faith and trusting in God, you're trying to make it happen in your own might or power. You're trying to put yourself in certain environments and situations and around certain people to make this thing come to pass. And God is saying, all you have to do is be obedient. All you have to do is stay in his word. All you have to do is, you know, do what it is that God told you to do. All you have to do is be obedient and it will just happen in God's timing, not our timing, right? In God's timing, not our timing. It will happen. I know this word is going to be for somebody. That thing you've been waiting on to happen stop waiting on it to happen stop just live your life according to the word of god and what god has told you to do and it will happen in the perfect timing and actually when you're not waiting on it to happen and you're being obedient it will happen faster than you think because you're in a, you're in perfect alignment with god right when you're waiting on god to do something you're just waiting you're not doing anything, right? You're not doing what God told you to do. You're not being obedient. You're just sitting and you're just waiting. All of your energy is focused on when is God going to do it versus what does God want me to do versus just being a yoda vessel versus just being obedient. Who that son? <laughs> so be obedient. Do what God told you to do. Just even if God tells you to just rest, even if God just tells you to just rest, have faith and know that he is still working things out on your behalf, even as you're sleeping, right? Even as you're just sitting and you're doing nothing. If God, if you're in, the, in alignment with God, it is still going to come to you. It is still going to come to pass. It's how God works. It is how he works. If he says something's gonna happen for you, it's going to happen. There's no need to be anxious about it, continu continuously check up on it or try to help God with it. Now, there are certain situations where, now, by the way, I don't want you to mistake me saying you shouldn't try to help God with me saying that you don't need to participate in getting to where God needs you to go. It's about obedience. As in, if God says, okay, this is your season of rest, then rest and have faith that God is still working it out and it will still be manifest in your life. It will still happen, right? If this is your season to start something new that God told you to start, do that and keep doing it even if you don't see anything working. And have faith that God is still making it work out for your good, even if you don't see anything, right? If you don't, even if you don't see anything. I like to say this, how God is outside of space and time. Things that we think, okay, this is going to take a really long time. I don't see anything happening. God can make it happen in a day. God can make it happen in an hour where suddenly you have nothing. Suddenly you are nowhere. And then all of a sudden, everything is sped up to one moment in time. All of a sudden, God has just dropped it all in your lap because you've just been obedient the entire time. So don't focus on the progress. Focus on, am I being obedient? Am I being a yielded vessel to God? I know this is going to really minister to a lot of you. I want you to just focus on being obedient. God wants you to just focus on being obedient. I know this word of someone. Let me know in the comments if this confirmed a lot of things for you. And I'll talk with you in the next message.